Hey guys, it's Beck. I thought that I would make this little video today because um, I thought I'd show you how to put together a little uh, period kit for your tween if she doesn't have one already for her school bag. So if you think that depending on her age and where she's with her development, if you think it's possible that in the next, you know, six months or 12 months that she might get her period, you, then you, you would want to help her be prepared for that. I mean, can you imagine anything worse than getting your period for the first time at school and then not having been completely unprepared and not having anything? So I remember that in the notes, that I gave you, and I've done some posts about it, but there is a local Brisbane mum called Amanda who makes uh, privacy packs, and this is what they look like. So I thought, I this isn't sponsored, so I uh, bought my mine, but okay, so she just makes, it's got a little button there with a, an elastic loop, and then when you open it up, okay, it's like that. So what it comes with, I can't remember how much they are, they might be $20, I'll check the price. So you can see it's got a few different compartments. Amanda puts in it when she sends it to you. It comes with two pads there and it also comes with a plastic bag, a Ziploc plastic bag. Now, so you want that so that your daughter can put undies or anything else that she's stressed about, that she can put that in a, a, the Ziploc bag. What I like about, um, and obviously you don't, you can make your own, so you don't have to buy something like this. You could, if you've got a little purse or a little cute zip bag or whatever at home, you can you can just use that, right? Um, I was at Kmart this morning and they had all these cute little plastic zip toiletry bags that were about eight dollars. But what is good about um, what Amanda does? Is this bit because when just imagine that you're 10 years old or 12 years old or whatever it is and you're trying to you've gone into the bathroom trying to deal with having your period and balancing everything on your lap it is a nightmare so the thing about this is that they can hang this on the back of the bathroom door when they're in there and that is a big deal I think for our girls um, what else could you put in here okay so you've got the two if your daughter's using tampons, you could put tampons in here, but most young girls are probably just using pads. So you've got pads in there, got that. I would add, so I would also have a spare pair of knickers that you could put in here. And the other thing that I would put in is either, I would get, just go to the chemist. They often sell these things for like 50 cents or a dollar. They, I, I found a whole stack at our local chemist in a bargain bin out the front. I'd get like a little travel pack of like wet ones or um, that's probably a little bit too chunky, but there's Dettol. I would put a pack of these in, right? Or you could do hand sanitizer, right? That cost me about two or three dollars at Kmart this morning, the hand sanitizer. Um, but this way they can help clean themselves up, clean their hands, whatever. You know, I mean, you've, you've got to put yourself into the head of remember, well, remember what it was like when we were tweens and if they're worried or anything, you just want them to be able to have that, I think, just to help get themselves organized. And then, so you've got two pads in there, you've got a spare pair of knickers, you've got your plastic bag, and you've got some wet ones, okay, which are the antibacterial hand and body wipes. That's perfect, right? And then, sorry, I'm not doing it on camera. You just do it up, right? It's done up. There you go, it's cute. Amanda's got all different designs that you can choose from and that goes in their school bag or if they're staying at a friend's house for the night or school camp or whatever it is. So you're good to go. So I really highly recommend, um, you know, depending on what age your daughter is, but um, having that in her school bag. And just remember as well, even if your daughter is really far off getting her period, um, you know, you may, you may not, I think they say it's often very similar to the age that the mother got her period. So if you didn't get your period until you were 14, your daughter may not get her period until she's 13 or 14. But wouldn't it be good if she had this kind of thing in her bag so that if one of her friends ends up getting a period, your daughter can be a period fairy and help a sister out. 
So, which I think is a great thing because we, we want to take away any sort of stigma or humiliation or embarrassment about this stuff and have girls supporting girls. So there you go. These are called peer, uh, privacy packs. Let me just get the card. I'll show you that there. There we go. Privacy packs. And they're made by Amanda Clayton. But, you know, if you've got anything else at home that you can use, I do recommend, though, this idea of having something that the girls can hang on the back of the bathroom door. Okay.